Iran Late Show Breaks 10 Man Wales as Gareth Bale Struggles. Doha, Qatar Iran kept their hopes of qualification for the World Cup round of 16 alive by scoring twice in the final 11 minutes of stoppage time to beat Wales 2-0 and throw Group B wide open. After Wales goalkeeper Wayne Hennessy was sent off in the 86th minute for a foul on Mehdi Terami outside the box, Rob Page's team were overrun by the Iranians, who scored through Ruzbe Cheshmi and Ramin Rezaian. Iran had earlier hit the post twice in a dominant performance and thoroughly deserved their late win. Iran's victory, three points, means that they'll go into Tuesday's final group game against the United States, one, knowing that a win will take them into the knockout stages, Wales, one, now need to beat England, three, on Tuesday to have any hope of reaching the round of 16. Meanwhile, the US will likely need to beat Iran in their final game on Thursday to remain in the tournament if they can't spring a shock against England first. Rapid reaction. 1. Hennessy red costly as Iran strike late. Wales keeper Hennessy earned himself the dubious distinction of becoming the first player to be sent off at Qatar 2022 and did so with a foul that earned comparisons with one of the most infamous moments in World Cup history. The 35-year-old was initially shown a yellow card by Guatemalan referee Mario Escobar after racing out of his penalty area before colliding with Iran forward Terami, but it was the definition of a clear and obvious error by the official. The VAR official, Canadian Drew Fisher, called a review, and Escobar rescinded the yellow card and issued a red instead. It was an inexplicable decision by Hennessy to race out of his area and was a clear red card, so dangerous was his challenge which was a high foot that caught Terami in the chest. The foul brought back images of West Germany goalkeeper Harold Schumacher's foul on Francis Patrick Battiston during the 1982 World Cup semi-final. Battiston suffered damaged vertebrae in the incident, but Schumacher was not even booked. Hennessy's red card proved hugely costly for Wales who, down to 10 men, conceded stoppage time goals to Cheshmi and Rezaian. But Iran were much the better side throughout hitting the post twice inside a nine-second spell, and deserved their victory, which keeps their hopes alive and leaves Wales needing to beat England to have any chance of reaching the second round. Iran anthem protests send a message. The political situation in Iran and the ongoing protests against the ruling regime after the death of Masa Amini in September have accompanied the nation's football team every step of the way in Qatar, and it was the same against Wales. With coach Carlos Carroza's players all bravely refusing to sing the national anthem before the 6-2 defeat against England in the opening game, the squad were shown only mumbling the words ahead of the Wales clash in a half-hearted manner. Some of the players once again chose not to sing the anthem, less than 24 hours after former player Voria Goffery was arrested for insulting the national football team and propagandizing against the government. Whether the Iran players had been placed under pressure to sing the anthem by the regime is not known, but the reaction of the Iranian fans inside the ground was another rebuke to the Tehran government. While the Wales fans sang their own anthem loudly, many Iranians whistled and jeers theirs. One fan was shown crying on the big screens in the stadium, while supporters applauded when images of Iranian women were displayed at the end of the anthem. Outside the stadium, pro-government supporters clashed with those against the regime, while inside, one female supporter was pictured having her Iran shirt bearing Amini's name confiscated by security. Whatever happens to Iran on the pitch at this World Cup, their players and supporters have sent incredibly powerful images to the rest of the world to highlight the situation in their country. And having claimed such a dramatic victory in this game, Iran's story could yet continue into the knockout stages. For that to happen, they must beat the US on Tuesday in what will be another highly charged game.